Hello everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how to install an exhaust system on your CBX. Specifically, I'm going to be installing the 6 to 1 Delkovic exhaust. And I'm going to make this quick because my videos have been pretty long lately. So, cue the intro. Alrighty, so the first thing is you need to remove the existing exhaust, if you have one on there. Now, the reason why I'm recording this is I've run into a couple interesting hiccups. Um, they also don't give you instructions, and the videos on this and literature is kind of limited. So I thought I'd make this for myself and anybody that needs some help. Anyway, interestingly, when I was taking off this exhaust here somebody installed it incorrectly when we bought it from auction so there was like this much play obviously the collar was butt up there but even then there was all of this play in the headers so let me show you why the issue comes down to these collars and spacers here so when we pulled that exhaust off the bike this is how it was set up and intuitively i mean it kind of makes sense but, well, it's incorrect. So, this is very difficult with one hand, but let me see if I can set this phone up and I can give you a good visual. I think I'll just use my knees, but it'll work for the girls we date. Um, this is how it's actually set up. So, you take these. For mine, I've seen some of them, they're one piece, but mine are two piece. Not sure how that happened or what, but it works regardless. But you just take your spacers here and just put them up like this, and then it fits in. The way I hold it and install it is I just put my thumbs on these two bolt holes, but see, it fits just like that. Whenever you get this system in the mail or whoever makes it for you, if they don't give you instructions, hopefully they uh, label all of these one through six. So from left to right, it goes, you know, one, see pipe number one here, one, two, three, four, five, six. So the next thing is you take these um, crush washers here and you're gonna wanna put it up in here but the issue is obviously it doesn't stay. So what I found to be the best is I just take some generic grease and I st stick some grease on here and it actually holds it in place. So see, just like I was saying, you just throw some grease on there and it sticks like glue. I tried my best to make it concentric with the uh, exhaust hole. So now you just take that assembled piece like i said i'm using one hand so it's not easy make sure this is all aligned up in that crevice make sure it doesn't look like mine and you just slip it on here so i'm going to do that with both of my hands and now an hour and a half later i actually ended up finishing it so you're probably thinking oh my god why why didn't you just record it as you're doing it but it's just one of those things where like i don't know I, I would have recorded like seven different clips of the wrong advice because I don't like it. There's no instructions. It's all trial and error. So I'm just going to tell you things that I wish I knew that would have made this a much faster process. I didn't use this. I don't really care. So I don't need it. I like the look of it. Not there. I don't care about the functionality. Did not use it. Um, when I, uh, put on these headers, I just did it finger tight, all these nuts finger tight, so I could have myself some play when installing these collectors. Um, when doing that, once you get all these, once you get all these in, finger tight, you can play with them, slip these guys on. 
Uh, the easiest way to get them on here is just to like get them, get all three started, and then just start shimmying this back and forth. Just rock it back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And eventually, it'll start scooting its way up. So do it for both of these as much as you can. Scoot them all as much as you can. And then I linked it back here with this clip over here because this side slips onto that. So I just had it sitting here. Uh, you slip it on and it's not gonna be perfectly in place. Now I'm gonna show you what it looks like when you do get it all in place. This notch here, you're gonna want the uh, corner of the oil pan to be sitting right in there. I mean, that's why they designed the notch in the first place. So you know that you're lined up correctly when this is in that notch. And then I don't know if they intended for me to like bolt this up here. I'm not gonna do it. I mean, look. Look how solid this is. I'm rocking the bike, so it's not going anywhere. I didn't use that. Feel free to use it if you want to. Um, so yeah, I got these shoved up here. Did not even do the springs. The springs were the very last step, so don't worry about it. Just rocked it back and forth, shoved these together, and then I just kept working my way back. Now, with this, this was a bunch of trial and error. I didn't, we didn't know if it was supposed to go up front, up back, or what. I just looked at my, my Ninja, and it's on the back, so we decided to put it on the back, and honestly, it works pretty dang well. So, that's the orientation of that tab. We wish we knew that. So, there's a key information right there. Once I got that all buttoned up back there i tightened the i torqued these all to six foot pounds i don't know exactly what the torque spec should be for these but it seems pretty happy at six foot pounds then i tightened the clamps here that was easy um what else oh so these springs they give you a tool for that honestly just find the strongest person you know and get them to put those on and i mean it took me a while but i eventually got them all so it's not impossible just find a strong fellow and get all your springs on and then lastly was um the stickers on here i used it's called new finish i think it's new finish wax and that, I just put a little bit on a microfiber towel and it rubbed, all that residue rubbed off, yeah, yeah, new finish. So just a little dab of that and you can get off all of that sticky junk from those one, two, three, four, five, six stickers. You got six here and then six on the collectors. And honestly, that and a lot of patience will get you, get you, get you done. So I hope this helped. Mm -hmm.